hey guys welcome back to my channel so on today's video i decided to do like a quick video of me organizing my breast milk i wouldn't say i have a lot i've seen a lot of a lot more people have like way bigger stashes but mine is just getting to the point where it's just getting out of hand the dates are all messed up because i just kind of ran out of space and i've just been throwing the bags as i do them and then if i need them i just grab whatever so at this point i feel like i need to definitely organize it this is my fridge it's a very small freezer so right now the top shelf is where i'm pretty much throwing all the milk that i am storing i guess some of you guys might say that this is a lot of milk i should mention that i have never in my life used an electric pump the only things that I have used to like collect this amount of milk is the Haka and a handheld breast pump by Medela. If you guys are interested in learning like how I got to this point, give this video a thumbs up. But for this video, we're just going to organize all these storage bags by date and just make it a little bit more accessible for when I actually do need the milk. So let's get started. I'm going to take out all the milk out really quickly because we can't really have the milk out too long. I'm going to sort it out by date and then I'm going to store it in the containers that I actually bought. So these are the containers that I got from Amazon. These are four inches like wide this way. The milk bags are going to fit perfectly in here and I think they're really, really nice and long. I don't know how long they are actually. Let's find out. So they're four and a half inches long or 14 and a half inches long. I did get four of them, so hopefully they all fit somehow in the freezer. And then I'm gonna put all the storage bags in here. So I'm gonna take out some of the bags and then like organize them by dates and then we'll go from there. I'm putting some of the breast milk underneath so that I don't have to take all of them out because honestly, I don't want to keep them out for too long. So I'm just kind of transferring them on the bottom for now. I forgot I had this box in there and I thought this box was all I was gonna use or need, but clearly I need more storage space. I gave birth May 5th, so. Something I wanted to mention, I used to store the bags standing up and that's why some of them look like this, but if you store them laying down, I'm sure a lot of you guys know this, but this is how they'll freeze compared to this. This is a lot thicker. So luckily I only have like a few of these left, um, but yeah, store them facing down and you guys will have more storage space. I just found a bag full of milk. <laughs> I don't know what month these are, but I got organized this too. Holy crap. I guess I only had a few left in May and then the rest are June. So I'm gonna put this in the freezer and then I'm gonna start a new little box with June. All right, this is June and July. These are actually um, July through October because I actually stopped saving the milk because it just got to be so much 
to store and since I'm working from home with YouTube only I'm not like leaving the house I'm always with the baby I felt like I didn't need to store that much I recently started again just because I'll explain that later but I started saving it again not as much but I'm still saving a little bit um, so yeah these are I think a combination of three months right here everything is in the freezer nicely organized by date and I wanted to quickly just explain why I started saving the milk again. I noticed that after I stopped saving the milk, I ran into milk, like clogged milk ducts. So I started using the Hakka again, just to avoid that, because I honestly think that the Hakka takes out the milk that sometimes my baby doesn't finish eating. And if you leave some milk in there, I've read that it can cause clogged milk ducts. And it just, it was just a coincidence that when I stopped using the Hakka to, um, get to catch the letdown i started getting clogged milk ducts i've gotten them three times but since starting to use the haka once again then it hasn't happened um so i am not saving it as much like sometimes i do throw it out because it just i don't have enough space it sounds bad but i mean i gotta do what i gotta do um so i am saving it a little bit here and there i started bottle feeding him at night as well just to make sure that he gets like a full serving a full feeding before bedtime so i do give him like the oldest date milk and then kind of going forward from there so at least there's some milk like some stored milk being used but yeah i just wanted to like talk touch base on like why i stopped saving the milk and why i started saving the milk so i'm going to show you guys how everything looks and it looks just like so much more organized thank god also i mentioned that i got four of these and so I actually only needed three, but nice to know that I have one left so that I can still store milk. Finally can get rid of this. And this is how it looks. So it's a lot more organized. Some of the milk used to be down here in that big Ziploc and now all of them fit nice in these containers. And they're all separated by date. And I don't know if I mentioned, the bags that I use are Lansino and these blue ones, actually I have these two up here because they didn't fit. These blue ones are by the brand Up and Up and they work just as well. So I'm glad that I finally organized my milk stash because it was driving me nuts just having everything out of order, especially by date. Um, it's better when you can use the oldest milk first and kind of go from there. And yeah, I think that is it for today's video. I'll link everything that I use. I'll link the containers down in the description box below. But if you guys have any other questions, let me know and I'll make sure to answer them. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!